Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this super easy and really cute headband. I will show you two options for the twist. I will show you how to make the normal twist and how to make this beautiful X twist. Like you can see down here, it looks like an X and it's really, really easy. Also what I really like, it looks like it's knitted, but it's just one row repeat. Those headbands work up so, so fast and they're so much fun to crochet. And I hope you will like this pattern. This is how the headband looks from the back side, this of course the front and it's really really fun and easy to crochet. And now I will show you what we need and how to crochet this beautiful headband. Today I'm using a 5mm crochet hook. You will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle and today I'm using paint box yarns, simply a run and it's this beautiful and super soft yarn. I really really enjoy crocheting with this yarn and this is the color number 253 and it's a 100% acrylic yarn and a four medium. Of course, you could use any yarn you would like and then the recommended hook size, but I will put the link for this yarn down below. And now let's get started. We will start with a slip knot and we will crochet chains. So you will grab the yarn and pull through. Grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn and pull through. So all we are going to do is crochet some chains. For my headband, I needed 82 chains. The only thing you have to watch out for is that the chains have to be long enough to fit around your head. Make sure it's not too loose. This is the only thing you have to watch out for. Just keep crocheting your chains, try it on and make sure it is not too loose on your head. It has to be a little bit snug and this is what we have to do to get the perfect length for our headband. But if you would like to know, like I said, for my headband I needed 82 chains. So do this and I will see you back once you're done with your chain. Once you reach the desired length you need for your head size, so we will crochet one more chain. And now we can start our first row. We will need the third stitch from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count, so one, two, and three. So you will yarn over, insert your hook into the third stitch, grab the yarn, pull up, grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. So you will be working in half double crochets. And again, yarn over, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull up, grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. And this is all we have to do for this first row. So just one half double crochet in every stitch, which is super, super easy. I show you one more time, yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull up three loops on your hook, grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. And you will repeat this all the way along and I will see you at the end of row one. I just finished my first row and this is how it looks like. And now we will start row two, which will be the repeat for this whole pattern. So we will chain one and turn the work around. And now we will be working in the back loops only. So only in the back loops here. I hope you can see it. It's really super, super easy. And with the half double crochet back loop only, you can see it very clearly. So we chained one, turned the work around. Now yarn over, go into the back loop, grab the yarn and work your half double crochet. Again, yarn over into the back loop only, grab the yarn, pull up, and go through all three loops. And 
this is our repeat. So yarn over, insert your hook into the back loop only, grab the yarn, pull up and pull through all three loops. And you will repeat this all the way along until you reach your last stitch. So just one half double crochet in the back loop and I will see you back at the end of this row. I'm here almost to the end of my row. Like you can see, we still don't have a straight edge. So it's really, really important not to skip this last stitch. And into the last stitch, we will do exactly the same. So you will yarn over, insert your hook into the back loop, grab the yarn, pull up and pull through all three loops. And now you can see we have a straight edge and this is how we finish row two. For row three, um, we will crochet row two, which will be the repeat for this whole pattern. So all we have to do is crochet one half double crochet in the back loop only. Once you reach your last stitch, you will always chain one and turn your work around. And now we will do exactly the same. So you will yarn over into the very first stitch here, you will go into the back loop only, grab the yarn and work a half double crochet. Yarn over into the back loop only and again a half double crochet. And this is all we have to do. Once you reach your last stitch, chain one, turn your work around and repeat. And I will um, crochet a couple more rows and I will show you in just a moment how many rows I needed to finish my headband. But all you have to do now, like I said, is one half double crochet in every stitch in the back loop only. And once you reach your last stitch, chain one, turn your work around and repeat. So I will repeat this and I will see you back once I'm done with the desired height I need for my headband. I repeated the row for a total of 10 rows and this is how my headband looks like. I really, really love this stitch. Um, I love working and have double crochets and the back loop only makes it look like it's knitted and I absolutely love it. Of course, you can make it even wider. This is totally up to you, but I crocheted a total of 10 rows and once you reach a desired height you need for your headband all you have to do is at the end of the row chain one pull tight and now leave a little bit of a longer yarn tail because we will be sewing on the twist so just a little bit longer yarn tail cut the yarn grab your hook pull through and pull tight and now it's all secure and it can't open up so this is how it looks like and now i will show you how to make the twist now it's time to sew the headband together there are two options you could use i'm going to use the x twist it's going to look more like an x or you can make the normal twist for the normal twist if you are a beginner this will be easier for you so all you have to do is fold the left side in half fold the right side in half and now just lay it on top of each other like this and then what you will do is sew all four layers together and when you turn your headband around you will have the normal twist of course here's now a string because i didn't sew it in yet so this would be the normal twist if you are a beginner but i'm going to use the x twist which is a little bit different and i like the version better but i wanted to show you this option also now I will show you how to make the X twist, which is also super, super easy. We will fold the headband exactly the same way like I showed you for the simple twist. 
So fold your left side, fold your right side, lay it on top of each other. Just what we need to do is leave on the left and on the right so much room that our finger can fit in it. So like you can see, just leave enough room so your fingers um, fit in it. And all we have to do now is sew together those four layers. So all you have to do is grab your yarn needle, pull the yarn through, and now we will sew it together. So again, fold the left, fold the right side, lay it on top of each other like this, just not all the way to the end. Leave a little bit of space on the left side and on the right side. So just like this. And now we have the spaces on the left and on the right. And now we can start sewing those four layers together. So just go in with your yarn needle, pull through, and again from the bottom to the top. So just make sure the only thing you have to watch out for is that you have all four layers on top of each other. You only need a couple stitches here. I have around four or five, so it works up really, really fast. Just like this. The last one is a little bit harder to get into. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going from the left to the right. So I will make sure that it's not going to open up on me. Leave those spaces open. And now I'm going back. So this is my last stitch here. And now this side is finished. We will turn our headband around. We will fold the bottom and the top piece. So just like this. And now it's time to sew those two pieces together. So I will show you one more time. You see we have those two openings on the left and on the right. So now turn your headband around like this. Fold the first piece fold the second piece just like this hold it with your fingers and now we will sew those two sides together so just like we did before from the bottom to the top pull through and here also you only need about four to five stitches so it works up really really fast from the bottom to the top pull through Again. so you see it's really really easy and just to make sure um, I will go back one more time so again just with four or five stitches we will sew those two sides together pull through insert into the next pull through it takes really about two minutes and your twist is ready. And one more here. And now to secure it, I will insert my needle, pull through, and I will leave a little loop just to make a knot. So once you're done sewing it together, I will show you how to make the knot. So you will pull through, leave a small loop, pull it through and pull tight. That way it's all nice and secure, but all I have to do now is just sew in my ends and then we can cut the yarn. We also have the first yarn tail, also we have to sew in, but it works up really fast. Just pull through to the opposite side. Just sew in your end and now cut the yarn. And I will do exactly the same thing with the other yarn tail we have here. So just insert your yarn needle, pull the yarn through and I will sew in my end exactly where I closed up the twist so just right here I will go through 
You can also make a little knot, so just leave a little loop, pull the yarn through, pull tight, and now again with two, three stitches, sew in your end. And that way you make sure it's not going to open up on you and it's all nice and secure. Pull through. One more time. And then we can cut the yarn. Now grab your scissors, cut the yarn, and our twist is done. All you have to do is turn your headband around, and we are done. And this is how our headband looks like. Now you can see the X twist even better. I really like this version a lot, but of course you could also use the other twist. It's also super pretty and this is how it looks like. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I can't wait to see your finished headbands. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back soon. Bye!